So rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, children of the Lord. All right. Everybody is so well behaved right now, but I got to tell you, in a few minutes, when we get everybody in line for the blessing, it's going to be a little crazy. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be nuts. But you know something? That's okay. Because when you think about it, we do everything we can to create order in our world so that we pretend there's no chaos. We try to make sure our houses are built a certain way, our bank accounts are a certain way. We try to do all of that. But in the end, things can creep in. Things that we don't expect. And that reminds us that, gosh, there's stuff out there we can't control. Now, an interesting thing about chaos. When chaos occurs, it's actually created. When the world was started in the beginning, that was chaotic. And you think about it, creation is ongoing. So when we have this chaotic mess out there, what do we have as a constant? We have God's love. We have God's love that was given to us in Jesus Christ. Now, what do we have with us today that is a visible reminder of God's love? Who says Holy Communion? You go to the head of the class. Okay, but besides that, what do we have that we typically don't have in church today that in our chaotic moments reminds us of God's love? Animals. Sunshine. What else? Animals. Dog, animals and children. Now think about it. I love my children too. But children are human. Okay? What is it about a dog, even a cat, even a possum, or any of the other animals. It's amazing that no matter what you do, they still love you. They love you from start to finish. That's incredible. So we have in the midst of us today, in all the craziness of the world, and in all the craziness of what's going to happen in a few moments, I'm preaching under a tent in an Episcopal cell. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is way cool. Okay? Um, you know, we've got the animals here. And that's why Francis loved the animals. Francis knew they were a way of reminding us of the constancy of God's love in a world that would make us forget. And I think... That is incredible good. Oh, my God, give all things and give her a ball. Let your blessing be upon us. Henry. 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 Bless you. I like, what? They came on, they came on, by Tuesdays, Tuesdays, devils. They came on, they came on, by Tuesdays, Tuesdays, elephants. What do we have here? Who is it? Who do we have here? Jesus. It's a ducky. Does a ducky have a name? Ducky. 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 Who's that? Ducky. 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 Charlie, look right on this man's shoulder. Almighty God, creator of all things and giver of all life, let your blessing be upon these stuffies. And grant it. Ducky. Look at me. You didn't have a bus. Do you believe it? No. I didn't have a like, Lily. I serve you to the glory and the welfare of your people through Jesus Christ and all of you. One more blessing. You, you tell me where you want me. That's yes, I can use it. I can always use it. I'm sorry, that was too good to mix. <laughs> Almighty God, creator of all things and giver of all life, let your blessing be upon this cat 
and grant that pansy may serve you to your glory and the welfare of your people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Just thank you, Father, for making me me. 